Hello everyone, and welcome to the Phenomenal Physics of Water by Anfora Mishka for SFI's Science Week. My name's Porik, I'm with Galway Atlantiquaria, and I'm going to take you through a few experiments just showing you a little bit about the magic of water and its physical properties. Now we're going to look at the physical power of water, as water is a major player in actually shaping the landscape of the world. If you think of our rivers and our waterfalls, our beaches and bays, these are all shaped by water as it actually cuts paths and erodes away the land that we live on. Now, I'm going to show you an example of this using something called a siphon. And this is a way that we can actually get water to behave quite unusually because we can get it to ignore gravity. And what we have to do to actually get this to work is actually just need a hose pipe like this one and a bucket full of water. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to start a flow from this bucket and I'm going to get it going into the smaller bucket here below me. And once I start that flow, the water will actually just keep flowing unless I stop it. So even though it's flowing up over the bucket, it will continue to do this. And this is all down to the fact that water will stick to itself and drag the rest of the water behind it along through that hose pipe. So how you do it is you just get one end of your hose pipe and you pop it into the water there. And the other end, we just need to Now, so there's a flow of water going through, but if there is a river that's running along, what that river is going to do is going to erode away and carry material with it. So small stones and pebbles will be dragged along the river. And we can show this as well as we move our hose pipe down towards the bottom of our bucket. And we should hopefully get some. Now, so we can see our sand coming down here just into our bucket there as it's being transported as if by a river. Now, I'm going to just stop our siphon there for the moment. Now, we just need to lift up our hose pipe, make sure all the water is out of it. Perfect. Now, what does that mean for actual erosion? How do rivers and waterfalls and the ocean actually shape our landscape? Well, let me show you. I'm just going to empty our water back into our bucket here. Now, for this one, we're going to bring in our tray here. Now, water will erode soft material first. So as the river or waterfall runs over the ground, the loose soil will be taken up first. And then any hard rocks will take a much longer time to disappear. So I have a stone here covered in corn flour. And the corn flour is going to act like our soil. So let's see if we can erode away our soil just so we can see our rock underneath. So we'll start our siphon up again. Now, so as the soil slowly gets eroded away, you can see it mixing with the water and that's going to be taken down the river or down the waterfall into the sea. As this happens, it'll be taking chemicals with it as they dissolve into the water, such as salts, and they'll be brought into the ocean. Now, we better stop this before our stone erodes away. Just pop this hose down. Now, so we just got a glimpse there of some of the phenomenal physics of water. So through the power of water, our landscape is formed, largely through things like erosion. So the land we live on is shaped by this huge power that water possesses. Now, water is also responsible for dragging our soil around, for creating that very soil that we actually use to grow. It's also an integral part of every single life form on this planet. Guys, thank you so much for listening. I hope to see you again.